Hello and welcome here on April 15th, Monday, April 15th. <clears throat> I have not done today's question yet. Uh, I've been laundry and <clears throat> making fluff. Uh, they had me sweeping at the shop today, so I think I got a lot of, a lot of dirt in my lungs. <laughs> so that's fun. Um, <clears throat> but yes, we are having a potluck dinner tonight at work. And uh, my friend Jennifer shared a... I had heard about, because um, I do the cookie fluffs and the, the random fluffs and the whatever. In fact, I'm pretty sure I did an orange fluff, some kind of orange, with like the mandarin oranges and stuff once. Um, I have like a whole playlist, this will be on it, of the different cookie or dessert fluffs that I have made. I had heard about using pie filling to... Um, to make one of these, you know, sort of fluffs. Um, <clears throat> so I decided to give this one a try since it was, you know, kind of curious to see how it would work out. Um, I changed a little bit. I was forced to change a little bit of, <laughs> of the recipe um, that she shared with me. But because um, <clears throat> sometimes it was calling for like uh, with whipped cream it still wanted eight ounces of whipped cream, no matter what. And like I said, I've started cheating and using the whipped uh, cream cheese so that, you know, when you get it, it's just ready to go. You know, you don't really, I mean, you don't really have to wait for it to... Th this thaws out a lot faster than a block <laughs> of cream cheese does. I learned that trick from uh, my mom. She suggested it once when I was trying to make a last minute cookie fluff. Or whatever party we were having that weekend. So it wanted eight ounces of cream cheese, but then it only wanted like like a fourth a cup of milk or whatever. And usually for my cookie fluffs, I use like three cups of milk because I make a lot. Uh, I make this much. Um, <laughs> I make a lot because I want to make sure there's, you know, enough for everybody. Um, <clears throat> So, um, I just went ahead with my regular recipe that I always use, and that is, of course, the eight ounces of cream cheese. Now, this is for, like I said, a big party. If you're only needing a small amount, maybe cut this in half, um, but if you're going to need a bowl this size, I always forget what it says, 7.7 uh, .7 liters, so this is 8.1 quarts. Yeah, this is like 8.1 quarts, quarts is of, uh, I'm sorry, my, my light is starting to go out up there, so if it like turns into a techno dance party, just go along with it, you know, just put you on some like daft punk in the background or something. Um, so anyway, <laughs> yes, eight ounces of cream cheese. I ended up doing um, the three cups of milk, as I always do, um, and I was worried like maybe, because usually there's something like cookies or something is in there to... But then I thought, um, I was making, it was, it was having me make a pudding mix anyway, basically. And I'm like, well, I always make the pudding mix anyway. Um, so I just, that's what, that's part of why I decided to just go with my regular recipe, what I regularly do for this. Um, yes. And so, um, this, the, the, this, the, um, the thing that Jennifer sent me was actually cherry cheesecake fluff. Well, apparently, the cheesecake pudding mix is... I, I don't know if it's being discontinued, if it's being recalled. Um, I did find Hy-Vee had uh, sugar-free. No, no. Or maybe it was Walmart. Maybe Walmart did have it. I can't remember. Somebody had, like, sugar-free... Uh, cheesecake mix and this pudding mix and I was like no 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 thank you no thank you this is not this is not healthy what we're making here um, I, so I because I, when I looked at hy V um, the I, I think on Walmart you could get it shipped within a few days but I think it's like an online seller or something somebody selling through Walmart because it was not the 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 box of pudding mix was like five or six dollars, I think. So I think they're starting to discontinue them maybe or become more rare. Um, so I was not able to make, um, I was not able to make cherry cheesecake fluff, but I, so that's why this is cherry pie fluff. Uh, but then I just went with vanilla and uh, you use two boxes of these little, these little guys. And that usually works pretty good for, you know, making it up, whatever. Um, 
And then I guess the next main ingredient was the cherry pie filling. And I ended up, uh, it calls for 21 ounces, but I just went ahead and got two. Since like I said, I'm making a huge bowl. I went ahead and got uh, two of these. So I guess 42 ounces of these is what I used personally. Um, and then it called for marshmallows. So I got, uh, I think I already threw it in the trash. Did I already throw it in the trash? Oh, no, here it is. Uh, I think it only called for 10 ounces of uh, marshmallows, but I ended up getting the value pack, the so 16, 16 ounces. Um, and, th and that ended up working out, I mean, pretty good, pretty good for all of that. And it's just a quick, simple thing. It's, it's a little bit thin. I haven't had a chance to set it in the fridge yet, but you can smell there's some cherry swirl right there. Look at the cherry swirl. Yes. So it hasn't had a chance to set up in the fridge yet. So it's very going to plop on the floor <laughs> if I uh, post it up too high. But, uh, and I actually, I took, um, I took some of this out for my neighbors so them and their kids can have some of my cherry pie fluff. But <clears throat> there again, and I cut out, um, they suggested, um, um, Oh yes, and I, for, I forgot the eight, the the the, uh, the 3264 uh, thing of Cool Whip, whatever. Um, like two two of the big the big things right now. I have water in this one. Um, well, I'll just get the other one out of the fridge because that's where it is. Um, I, I put some back for my neighbors, <laughs> but uh, oop. Um, what is this? This is 32 ounces, right? Correct. Or 16, sorry. This is 16. So I got two of the, the big things of Cool Whip to put in there. I think I forgot to mention that. I almost I forgot to mention Cool Whip one other time. And I was like, oops. <laughs> that's that's an important component to it. I guess it's, I just automatically think putting it in there. So I don't think of, you know, I don't think of, uh, <laughs> of mentioning it in the video. Um, in, this, in this thing, in this little... Um, recipe. It mentions one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So I mean you could put some vanilla extract in it I guess to make it taste more better. I don't know or more vanilla EE -E, but I guess I didn't need that since my uh, you know my pudding mix ended up being vanilla. I didn't use that. I didn't put that in at all. I just I just basically used the same uh, recipe that I use for everything else or this you know same components basically that I used for all of my other fluffs that have came out, you know, just fine. Like I said, this one might be a little bit runny. Not really. Uh, I think once it sits in the fridge and it has a chance to like set up, um, it will be better. So, but that's the little, you know, um, it ended up working out okay for me. Just doing the regular, the reg, reg like I do. Um, Cause yeah, like I said, I was worried putting so much milk in it. I'm like, is this gonna be a little bit runny? Or, like, usually there's cookies or something in there to soak up the extra. But I guess that's maybe what the marshmallows are for. So, um, but from what I've been able to, like, you know, lick off the spoon and everything, um, it tastes pretty cherry. It tastes pretty cherry cherry vanilla. So if you're into cherry vanilla, here's your kind of fluff. And, I mean, I, I don't know, part of me, of course I was doing this at the last minute anyway, but it's like... Uh, I almost wanted to put maybe more components in there, like maybe some, get like a like a pie crust or something and crumble it up in there, or maybe crumble it over the top. I don't know, there's different things I guess that you could do if you wanted to like make it actual uh, cherry pie. Like I said, that was supposed to be cherry cheesecake and um, the cheesecake pudding mix was not available. So I did with what I had to do. Um, but yeah, I'll put the recipe down below um, in the, and the thing, as I always do, and uh, now I think I'm going to sit down and answer the question before, uh, oh, it's like four o'clock in the afternoon, that's rude, um, <laughs> getting some sleep before work so I can take my cookie fluff and get this in the fridge so that it can set up. So anyway, that's that, and I'll see you for what I see you.